You may suck a nigga nervous, they won't speak. Back to twerk, cause she been working all week. She going downtown. Call them girls, it's all got the niggas like away. What she got on, she know she It's poppin' everybody. We are back for another dope episode of Legit Flavor. Y'all know what it is. It's your girl, Jay Nichelle. Yeah, it's your boy, Chris well, Keith. You know, you know, it's the legit way, so we gotta make it that Legit. Okay, so... <clears throat> We got a dope show in store for everybody. Uh, we definitely have a dope interview on the way. But first, we do want to tackle the question that we asked on Facebook, which was, what do you guys think about child support? Before child support, against child support. And of course, today we had an overwhelming response from all of our followers, over 200 comments. And we had a little bit of everything. But I want to know, Chris, as a man, as a father, as a fiance, is it fiance for a guy? All of well, why not? Yeah, so, but, of, but, of, uh, of course you are. Of course you are. That's why I put it all out there. So what? what's your takes on uh, child support? If you wasn't with your lady, y'all broke up, you know, and she went and put you on child support, would you be mad? All right, so here's my takes on child support. Number Uh-oh. one, if the man is taking care of his child, he's there for his child. He's doing everything that in, everything possible for his child to make sure his child is living a good life. No matter if you and that woman are split up, you should not put that man on child support. Let that man do what he's doing and let him live it right. Now, if that man is not there, right. if he's not providing and he's purposely doing that, then of course, yes, I agree. Put them on child support and get the money that you need in order to make sure that you're handling business at the same time. Right. But don't abuse that power, though. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they'll put that put that person on child support and they'll abuse that power. And the way that I'm saying as abuse is by, all right, I'm getting that monthly check. What I'm about to do is go shopping. I'm going to hit up Fashion Nova. <laughs> I love Fashion Nova. Get me Nova. some heels. A new dress. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But you're not using it for what it's for. It's for the child. It's not for you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's my opinion on it. Okay. Which is a great opinion. I just want everyone out there to know that cannot see me. I took my shoes off for this conversation because I felt like it was going to be a fight. You know, oh, I, mean, <laughs> I, hey, I didn't know if we was gonna start fighting up. up in here, and I ain't scared of you, even though you called the bodyguard out here in the streets. Isn't so do, that so the bodyguard? We gotta, we gotta go to that. Well, so we gotta, we gotta. Just real quick, I mean, that is All what right. they call you in the streets, the bodyguard. It's like, so okay. you partnered up with the bodyguard. So, so as she just announced, she heard about my my old nickname that I got, <laughs> which, if you know me from TBG Promotions, TBG actually stands for the bodyguard. Oh, and that is so cool. For, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's called TBG, so it's the Bodyguards Promotion. Oh, that is so dope. So you uh, learned something new today. So this is how I got that. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that if I'm chilled out, I'm relaxed, I have this resting face where, as you ladies call it, the resting bitch face. Right. I have that so bad. Um, I wouldn't call it a bitch face because I'm not a bitch, though. Right, right, but, right. <laughs> um, Whatever it would be for men. It's more an intimidation factor. So a lot of people would see me hanging out with um, a group of females that were my friends, you know, in high school. Shout out to all of them. They know who they are. Aww. And um, I got the nickname The Bodyguard because I was always posted with them. I'm the only male. They're all females. And they're like, hey, there's that dude. He over there being protective of the females <laughs> and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, I, they gave me the nickname. And it's been running ever since. Have you ever had to, like, be the bodyguard, though? Have you ever had to check any niggas, beat somebody up, like, put somebody out the club? Like, have you ever had to be the bodyguard? Now, when I first, before I became a promoter, I was a bouncer. Okay. So, to have that nickname and be a bouncer, it ran with it, one in one. So, yes, I've had to throw some people out uh-uh. of the club before. Mm-mm. And take for granted, at this time frame, I was only 17, 18. Oh, dang. Um, heavily playing sports, playing football, heavily in the gym. So I was a lot bigger than what I am now. Uh, but it's been fun. And I've enjoyed the nickname. The nickname is stuck. And, <laughs> you know, there's another nickname that the, you know, these that these girls would call me. Um, which was Johnson Debo. Oh, no, we're not gonna say Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
We're not going to say Johnson. Uh, it, was, it was Debo. Um, and the reason why they called me Debo was because I had that Debo mindset. You know what I'm saying? If you mess with anybody I'm, you know, that I'm cool with, I'm going to mess with you back, and it's not going to be right. Right. Um, so that's the story on that. So shout out to JP, because JP's the one who put that in. I don't know how he guessed that, bro, but I didn't tell him. <laughs> Okay, so we got to get back to the child support topic because I find it hilarious that every man that commented on the post today was an upstanding, outstanding, amazing father and has no idea why the bitter baby mama went and put him on child support. Like, come on now. I know that there are men out there that don't deserve child support. And unfortunately, the relationship ended and the woman is bitter. And we all know a woman scorned you know, ain't nothing to play with, but I'm not, and I'm not excusing that, you know, that's, that's terrible ladies. Y'all need to stop that, but let's keep it real. Not all you fellas out there are taking care of your kids and picking them up all the time and doing everything you need to do. And the judge is fucking crazy. Cause he's on the, on your girlfriend's side and you've provided all these documents. I mean, that okay, is so, not the damn so case. Wait, 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 Cut wait, wait, it out. Wait, wait. So, Cut it out. So a lot of this, from what I've from what I've learned, and I know from I don't have personal experience, but I know people who are close to me that have had this experience. To be put on child support when you and this other person are in a different living situation. Yeah. So say like one person lives in Wichita, the other person lives in Emporia. Let's just say it like that. Why put that person on child support if you're the one taking the child from him, moving that, ch- moving that child to a different state? Yeah. Yeah. Or a different city. Yeah. That's not fair to him. Yeah. You're pulling the child away from that. You're pulling his child. But something, look, one thing, and this, this is with me, I'm a father, a father of two kids. I have a son and I have a daughter. I do anything on this earth, and anybody who knows me knows I will do anything on this earth for them. Yeah. So when it comes down to that, I'm making sure ain't nobody going to put me on child support because I'm going to make sure I'm there. Okay. Now, if you're not there, yeah, I get it. But my thing is just putting the effort. I mean, I and I agree with that. And I think that, <clears throat> like, there was a couple of comments on there, like, uh, YBM Smooth. He, he went on there and talked about his situation, which is something similar to what you were saying. His baby mama moved to another state and, you know, he got to go back and forth and the laws are different there. So now he's fighting Texas laws and he lives in Kansas. And so, I mean, my heart definitely, like I said, it goes out to those men. I feel like the system is definitely broken. However, I know a lot of single moms. I know some single dads, but I know a lot of single moms and they're not bitter. They're not angry. The dude is struggling. He can't really provide and really can't do much. And the mom is working two jobs, you know, trying to provide, trying to do everything she can. But childcare is expensive, expensive. Food is expensive, expensive. Insurance is expensive. If you cannot provide and help the the mother of your child with those type of things, those bills, medical, um, childcare, food, and she got to go down to the state to get those assistance, the state most definitely is going to have to is going to have her participate with child support. And a lot of those women, they don't want to put their baby daddies on child support. But if you're not able to supplement, you know, what I'm going to be able to get from the state, then I got to do what I have to do. Like me me and my daughter's dad, he asked me to go put him on child support because he was in a financial situation where he could not take care of his daughter at the time. So he's like, hey, I can't. You got to get to work. You got to do what you got to do. Go put me on child support. Now I'm trying to get them off. It is hard as hell. Once a man is on child support, I mean, you got to write letters. You got to file motions. It's the waiting game. You got to follow up. So I hope everybody works it out. I think it should be worked out between the mom and the dad. But, you know, not everybody is the is an upstanding parent. And not every woman is bitter and just putting niggas on child support. But Okay, so answer me this question. Why put the person who's putting in the effort, no matter if he's making a McDonald's salary? Yeah. Why put him on child support if he's still putting the effort in to be there? 
okay, so we got to uh, eat bologna sandwiches and fucking ramen noodle every night Shit, while you put the effort in. I like, what you mean? I don't understand. Like, I love ramen noodles. You know what you can do with some ramen noodles? I love, I love ramen noodle. You put Get the you garlic, some, put some, some hot sauce in there. Shout out to my girl Liz. You got to get that garlic in there. Mm. But but I'm, I'm just saying like, okay, so you doing everything you can do and I'm doing everything I can do and we still coming up short because a lot of times that is the case, which is why you have a lot of people trying to beat the system. You know what I'm saying? And baby daddies is acting like they don't live places because we on Section 8 can't really afford housing. So, I mean, it, I mean, it happens, but I'm just saying that, you know, you doing everything you can do and it's not enough. So either we got to think of something then if we're not going to go to the state, we got to think of something. It's time to hustle. They said that that was the number one comment today. Child support is a broke bitch hustle. I knew that one was coming. That needs to be the fucking slogan. Like, <laughs> that needs to be on the wall somewhere or something. Everybody said that today. Is that a hustle? <laughs> it can be. That, that they way. are not and paying you, that much you. in child support for it to even be considered a hustle. Like I said, for the ones that's out here buying fashion over dresses, red bottom shoes, but not putting it towards their co- their child, that's a hustle. They're I agree. Hustling that money in the wrong reasons. I agree. Well, shout out to all the fathers out there that are really doing it. Shame on you, ladies who are bitter and that's only trying to, because uh, you know I, I dated a dude with a bitter baby mom, and they they the worst. They the worst women that are bitter and angry and jealous, and mm-hmm. they. <sighs> I'm glad I don't have that problem. They the worst. Both of my kids from the same woman. Keep that woman happy. She's a good woman dealing with your ass. It's a good woman. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> Keep that woman happy. <laughs> Okay, so we want to move on. Oop, we want to move on before we get into our interview. Um, I did want to talk about the Kobe Bryant real quick. I mean, obviously we did our quick little shout out if you caught our live um, on Facebook, but um, I just want to talk about it. By the time this airs, it, it, people might have healed a little bit more from it, but it's still shocking to us right now in this moment. So, real quick, what do you what do you have on that, Chris? Man, it, it was tough. Yeah. Uh, as a longtime Laker fan, um, a longtime Kobe Bryant fan, from following him through his college days on up to the NBA Pro Leagues, um, I mean, it's it, it was it was tough. Uh, when I saw the news, I saw a post of a, somebody who just asked, like, "Is this true?" And I had to do my research. I hopped on Google quick. Yeah. Um, it, it it just was reported. So my thing is is like. There's a difference between reported and confirmed. Yeah. Um, and my, I've, I, I, I get everybody thinks that TMZ is the hundred percent source to use, and I, I know sometimes they have been accurate um, over ninety percent of the time. Yes, but there have been times when TMZ has, you know, had some issues. Yeah. Um, but like I said, when I found out, I, w- I was speechless. And then hours later, to find out that his daughter was also in the, the helicopter. I know. Lifting. You know, as a father, that hurt. Yeah. Know, that, Gorgeous that hurt. daughter, too. She was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Or so, she I mean, played basketball. Yeah. Yeah. She was following in the footsteps of her father. That's crazy. Like she was she was really following in her father's footsteps, for real. Yeah. Uh, well, our hearts go out to everyone who is affected. It's crazy, but, you know, a lot of times these NBA players and these rappers and things like that, they they are like – the only like role model that some people had and like to look up to and they really follow their story. So even though you've never met Kobe Bryant, it just hits you so hard because he was such an important part of your life. So yeah. shout out to everybody out there that's uh, mourning the loss of Kobe and his daughter. Yeah. Keep your heads up. Um, really, the main thing that you guys can do is just, you know, send a prayer. Yeah. You know send a prayer up to his wife, his um, his other two daughters. You know, I believe they just had a child of or something, so ago. Yeah. Um, so you know, just you know, keep them in your prayers, like for real. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stay prayed up because you know prayer works. The power of prayer is serious. But uh, we definitely want to give a shout out to our sponsors. So. OGMB. OGMB. Shout out. Organized Ground Marketing and Branding. We want to give you guys a shout out for being our sponsor. Man, we love you. We love you. So um, dope working also, with them. The other one. You want to shout them out. I guess so. Shout out to the core DJs. That is Core super DJs. dope um, to even be 
sponsored. I love um I love three. I mean, he's just, I don't know why he's seen something in us and me and you and and decided that he wanted to help us. And I don't I don't even think that people realize like how dope that is that he even is taking the time to work with us because he's around mega people like that are really making big boss moves that are really doing major things and to even take time out of his day to say, I'm going to sponsor you guys and get behind and I believe in what you're doing and push you, like, that's amazing. It's legit on another level. I yes, mean, it is. We backed by the core DJs. We backed by organized ground marketing and branding. We still got some others that's in the works right now. So, yeah. You know, just, you know, keep a lookout for that. Shout out to DJ3. Shout out DJ Detroit, DJ Cadence, all the DJs that are, you know, underneath that core brand in Wichita. Uh, we salute you. Um Keep doing what you're doing. Keep rocking for the city and keep making everybody, you know, twerk them booties. <laughs> twerk them booties? I mean, okay, damn. Look, damn. I tried, to, I tried to take it down to a G-rated level. <laughs> I'm, okay, she wanted me to take it down to the, to, take, take, take it up to the arm. You could have just said twerk. Twerk that ass. Okay, okay. Twerk okay. That okay, he even slapped it. He did a little dance. <laughs> Chris is in rare form <laughs> <laughs> See, now, now I'm going to have to go back to my other career. Oh, shoot. Okay, so like we said before, we got a dope interview with Southwest Entertainment. They are in the building. We're going to be talking to them about where what they're doing, what they have going on, how they started. I mean, you guys, you definitely don't want to miss it. But first, we're going to, of course, have to check out some hot, hot music. Well, yeah. we want to know if it's hot or not. Right? What you think? You think it's going to be hot? I think the music is going to be hot. I mean, I don't really... Let's let the audience decide. You guys got to get involved. You guys got to um, comment on our YouTube, on our IG, on our Facebook. Let us know if you think the music on the show is hot or not. And if it's and if hot... You want, if you want your song featured on here, man, just reach out to us. Let us know. Um, we'll make sure it gets on. And not everybody's going to get on. Chris is Chris is being a little nice. If you send your music and we play it and we don't oh, we think it's up Shug to... <laughs> you going to stop calling me Shug Knight. Shug, Shug Knight flavor. That's Shug right. Shit flavor Shug Knight Listen, in the listen. If you, if you want... If you want your music played on See, don't it sound like the Knight? hottest podcast See? in the city, <laughs> send it you. to us. If you want to try your music is so so, you know, send it to Point Proven or something. No, oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> your, look, with, boom, boom, look, shots I'm, fired, I'm, shots fired. I ain't in that one. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Rello four times running. They know it's good. Shout out to y'all, man. Okay, that's funny. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and hit y'all with that music. We'll be right back. I know they hate it. I came up from a dark place. Now they hate me. No handouts. They say that I'm fake and I'm changing. Cause I stay out the way. I did it on my own. You can't get no help from me. I know they hate it. I came up from a dark place. Now they hate me. No handouts. They say that I'm fake and I'm changing. Cause I stay out the way. I did it on my own. You can't get no help from me. Now how I'm faking. When every move I ever made, I brought it to the table I do it on my own, now I'm wrong and I'm changing Sometimes you fall out with your brother, can't enable But it's all love, can't change the love Learned a lesson every time I took a loss, ain't afraid to lose Cause I won't be down for long, I'm bouncing back, that's what I do I worked out most of that weight, I feel rejuvenated Recuperating from all the hate I accumulated I fall victim to niggas Falling victim to feelings And they come out when they get mad Didn't know you was in them When I'm just focused on my children And stuff in my denims Running my business Keep living and stay out of prison I know, I know they, they hate it. it I came up from a dark place Now they hate me No handouts, they say that I'm fake And I'm changing Cause I stay out the way I did it on my own You can't get no help from me I know they hate it Came up from a dark place, now they hate me No handouts, they say that I'm fake and I'm changing Cause I stay out the way, I did it on my own You can't get no help from me I know they hate it, I know they hope I don't make it But no side J finna sing it and I finna bring it Better not hear no complaining, the top seat I'm coming to claim it Coming to claim it. I've already made arrangements, the rap game I'm coming to save it It's cool if they claiming Goliath, walk up like I'm David, baby I'm the favorite Yeah 
even Jesus had haters Turned that hate to fuel, baby, that's what made us Maybe they don't wanna see us in the matrix Maybe they just rather see us pulling capers Don't do me no favor, don't do me no favor I can't get it now, I just get it later If I learn anything from school, it was to Keep my eyes on my own paper, gotta keep it moving Moving in my If they wanna stall, I just move on without them I told y'all that my train don't stop for nobody I don't do excuses, no ifs, ands, or problems I can't lose focus, I can't get sidetracked But if they shoot first, then I'ma fire back See, I write facts, I don't write raps And I really don't care if they like that I know they hate it I came up from a dark place, now they hate me No handouts, they say that I'm fake and I'm changing Cause I stay out the way, I did it on my own You can't get no help from me, I know they hate it I came up from a dark place, now they hate me No handouts, they say that I'm fake and I'm changing Cause I stay out the way, I did it on my own You can't get no help from me All right, what's up, everybody? We are back, and as you can see, we are not alone. We have a special guest in the building, Orlando with Southwest Entertainment. Am I saying that right? Southwest, South. Southwest. South. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it because I'm so excited that you're here. You have a lot going on. You've been touring. I mean, everything. So just to jump right into it, can you explain to our viewers what Southwest Entertainment is, how it came about? Um. I guess my brother was rapping at the time, and uh, I kind of just told him, you know. I just sat him down like, man, do you really want to take this to a whole nother level? And um, he said, yeah, so we just we started Southwest. and just. But not know. overnight like that, certainly, it, right? Honestly, it kind of was, because it was just like, it was around uh, um, Christmas. It was okay. around Christmas of 2010. And I, he, I told him, and he was like, yeah, I'm with it, so... I think at first he was he thought I was just bullshitting like he thought I was just can I curse yeah, yeah of okay course. you said me <laughs> okay. cussing all the time I can't help it he just was like ah oh, he thought I was just I think he didn't take me serious like he wasn't sure what I had even planned or what you know my idea was yeah and um, so January came and we had already started it we came up with the name he already had Southwest here dang nice. um, on his arm. So we were just like, let's just call it Southwest Entertainment. At that time, we were in uh, Southwest Kansas. Okay. Um, but we started, uh, I'm from El Paso, which we, we consider that the Southwest. So it kind of just, you know. Just went. Yeah, it went it perfectly. I was just like, man, we from out there, Southwest Texas, you know, the Southwest side. And then we're in Southwest Kansas. So it's just like. It's just perfect, you know what I mean? Might as well rep where we're, where we're from. And exactly. Right, right. Where we're at. And that's just how it started. And then I think uh, February, I was like, man, let's put on a show. So February came around. We put on our first show, and it just just started from there. I think after our first show we put on, it just I it just it sparked something in me. And it I just, inspired you. Yeah, it just it took off after so, that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the business side of things, like how did you, like, learn all of that and develop it into what <clears throat> it is now? I think I always had a hustle. Mm-hmm. I mean, since a very young age, I mean, I hustled in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I did what I did, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I was just, being broke inspired me. You Hell know I mean? yeah. It's just like, I was I'm like, hungry. I was that broke kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I wanted to play sports, I didn't have no cleats. I didn't, you know, the same shoes I went to school, that's the same shoes I was going to wear when, no matter what I did, wow. you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like... I ain't had no outside shoes, you know what I mean? Yeah. The shoes I wore every day were my outside shoes, you know? <laughs> right. Um, so that just inspired me, and I, I had a hustle at a very young young age that I was out there in the street just doing. Not, I'm not proud of it, but I did it, you know what I'm saying? And it just, I just had a a, a state of, um, you know, mind, business, <clears throat> business mind, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that mentality got yeah, you. Yeah, I just had, today. yeah, I had yeah. that mentality, and it just. Like it's nothing. I can't tell you it's nothing different from where <clears throat> what I'm doing now, what I was doing back then. You Isn't know that I mean? crazy? It's like the streets prepared you for it, though. You know, like maybe like <clears throat> your hustle in the streets and like I mean, that grind. It, it did, but it's not like I did it for a very long time either. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I did it for four years or whatever. You know, what I mean, it was just it was just like a year or two, and like it just I just had it in me. You know, what I mean, like. 
if it was that or if it was something else, yeah. like, I, I had it in me no it, matter what I was going to do. If it was the streets or if it was something else. Was right. you'll be successful yeah. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So. so Southwest Entertainment is not just an entertainment label. It's a brand in general, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's a, man, it's just a, it's a lifestyle, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the reason I stand behind it as in, like, the reason why we spell it the way we do is because we want to be different. It's like right. we're not trying to be like the next man. We're just going to be who we are, and that's it. You know what I mean? Right. That's so that's to stand it out. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Like, it's crazy because now my kids are much older, so they're more like, oh, Southwest, Southwest, right? So they got the gear on, of course. And at school, they, they tell them, like, well, why is it spelled like that? Why is it spelled like that? You know, and they, they want to come asking me, too, you know? <laughs> the kid's like, you can't spell. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Your dad can't spell or, spell or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I break it down to them. And it's just like, it's really about just being different, being yourself, and not trying to be like the next kid. And just, you know, it's really about just being yourself, you know what I'm saying? So we do know that you have artists underneath the Southwest label, correct? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So can you tell us who those artists are and <clears throat> any projects they have coming up or anything like that? Oh, uh, we just dropped a project with my my brother Young K, which is who I started this with. We just dropped it uh, on the twentieth. Okay. Uh, just dropped that. That's on all platforms. Nice. Um, and then I got Stun, which is pretty much my my right hand man. Uh, yeah. I got Lee Love. Uh, Martian, and I just, I just, oh, I got Rilla out of Oklahoma City, and then I got uh, um, Mike V out of uh, Tampa, Florida. Dang. Nice. So yeah. artists all over, not just yeah, here yeah, in just the city. Yeah. That's awesome. So how's it been working, like, with your brother? Because I could imagine me and my sister would be fighting all the time. Honestly, <laughs> it was, it's crazy. And um, he, a, a lot of people don't know of him recently just mm -hmm. because he wasn't in the scene for a little bit. Okay. Um, he went through some stuff. He took off to Texas. He lives in back in El Paso, Texas. And at that time, like, I felt like I put so much into this. It's like I told him, like, I really I put a lot into this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For somebody to just say, you know, I'm taking a step back, it's like a slap in the face for me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what do I got now? Like, I was putting everything into this. Right. So, like, I kind of told him, you know, we're still doing this. You know, you're my brother, but... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do what I got to do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, I put my wife and my kids to the side for this. So, right. Um, I'm going to keep going regardless. You know what I mean? Ryan, don't stop. Yeah, exactly. So, that's good. I, I mean, that's that's kind of, it's it's funny how it kind of started off as his thing, you know, but it, yeah. it actually developed into something that you're passionate about, something that you you know, like you said, sacrifice for it. Now it's not yeah. so much just about like, okay, I'm doing this because my brother raps and I'm trying to help yeah. him take it to the next level. It's like, I'm doing this because this is what I love. Yeah. Like, this is what I'm passionate yeah. about. So um, definitely big, big Always up to had that. a big passion for music. So it's just, you know, it's great to be doing it. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to show our shirts, though. You brought us some gifts. Yeah, let, me, yeah. let me open this real quick. Chris, you open yours. Yes, because I want people to get to, you know, see the real deal. Thank you for the shirts, though. Yeah, I heard y'all was on Power Night 3.5, yeah. so I was already ready for my mystery box or something. <laughs> I just knew you was going to bring me something. I just knew uh, it. Had to, had to. I appreciate it. All right, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you. I'm going to actually pass it to you so that you can hold it there. So where can people cop this if they see it? Because when they see me wearing it, they're going to want to cop it. So it's crazy that we're going to talk about this because um, – we got a website, southwestent.com. Okay. Um, you could get everything there. But here pretty soon, it will be on uh, Amazon. So if you got Prime or anything nice. like that, it's all going to be, everything's going to, I'm going to send everything through Amazon so that you could cop it through there. That's Making move. boss moves. Yeah, that's a big move. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just like, it's huge for me just because everybody's on there. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm constantly on Amazon. On Amazon, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking for stuff, yeah. anything, you know what I mean? Weave. I, I get my weave on Amazon, nice. ladies. Minute, <laughs> Amazon got some good weave Amazon on there. Amazon got weave? Yeah. Is it real? No, it's <laughs> weave. No, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I, know, mean yeah, it's like, I know there's like some weave that's like real hair, and then there's weave that's like It's good, like, like hair. Brazilian, <laughs> never been touched oh, version so you, hair. So you buying that chimpanzee hair. 
<laughs> don't I come and serve. Don't play with me. <laughs> it's a little nappy right now, but it, it still feel nice. Yeah, so hopefully, I mean, in a few months, it will be on Amazon. That's what's up. That's dope. So um, you were in the room when we were talking about child support. And before I forget, oh. you're a father. You've mentioned that. You you know, you put your kids and your wife on hold for a little yeah, bit yeah. to get the business to go. But I just want to know, what is your take on child support? My take on child support Uh-oh. is really, it starts way before. You way know what before I'm child. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, because I feel like you as a man, you should know who are you messing with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So, and then if you're going to choose to bring a child into this world, you should know who you're doing it with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it really starts before that. Right. Okay. So, if she is this type of woman, it's like, you should have known. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And if she turns out to be that person, um, you know what I'm saying? You made that mistake. So okay. You just got to own up to it. You know uh, I mean? Some accountability. I just feel so good inside. I, just, I ain't heard I just no feel, man say that. I just feel like I take re- I take responsibility for every action I okay. take. Okay. You know, that I do. So it's like, if I did that, okay, I did it. She's like this, but guess what? I'm going to go ahead and manage and go do the best I can. Right. That's all we can do. Okay. Do the exactly. best that you can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No matter what she tries to throw at you, yeah. do the best you can. That's it. That's I it. love that answer. That is it's all about putting in that effort. That don't try to yeah. swing it back. No, don't swing don't it back. Back. He's trying it. to swing it back like he it. he was right or something. That, you didn't I mean, say that. That it was, was different. Almost the same it was thing. not it nowhere near the it same thing. It was formatted thing. in a different way. I like the way you said it. He didn't take no accountability. <laughs> I don't like the way he said it. I mean, I was just saying, just you no, know, I'm leaving alone. Uh, okay, so I did see something about car shows. You guys do a big um, car show? I, well, we don't do it. It's the significant other okay. and uh, rollers only. They put a, together a big car show, and they hire us to do the whole entertainment side. Wow. Yeah. So you guys get hired to go. I mean, that's yeah, it was Yeah, well, it was crazy because when I first came to Wichita, like, I wanted to do something like this. Yeah. And I had a couple car clubs, you know, reach out to me, and we chopped it up. Um, I always put this idea in my, in my boy uh, his in his head, you know, like, let's do this, let's do this. Bring some acts, you know. They have car shows out here, but not not in this way, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. They did it back in the day, I guess is what they're saying. But I mean, it kind of fizzled yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. It kind of like that was a long time ago. I guess nineties or something like early two thousands. Okay. Um, so it it was a big objective of what I wanted. Something I really wanted to bring to Wichita. Yeah. And I, you know, I guess just putting it in his head so much that he finally, you know, made that move and hired us to do the whole entertainment side, run it for him. That is dope nice. to yeah. get paid to do what you love to do, yeah, yeah, make definitely. some money. That's awesome. So what's next? What's on the agenda? What's coming <clears throat> up? I mean, plug it. Um, We got a few projects that we're dropping. We got a whole lot of music videos we're dropping. We just uh, added uh, Southwest Films. <gasps> uh, so that's dope. It's wait, kinda... wait, 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 wait! Oh, you guys are doing movies? No, we're doing uh, music videos. Oh, right music now. videos. Yeah. Okay, music videos. Okay. Are you looking for your next spot? <laughs> Don't start. See, you've been on me all day. B O N. Charlie, want a big old nigga? <laughs> it was a great opportunity. Fuck you, Chris. Okay, so back <laughs> yeah, moving so, on. So that was huge for us. We did that towards the end of 2019, and it's just like. Um, I always said, like, it's about building the right team. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's um, getting the right people. Artists always tell me, like, hey, put me put me on. And it's like, man, I feel like I have enough artists right now. And it's just like I wanted to just put in, you know, just build it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Build the right circle. It's yeah. like not the half circle. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Not just artists and then we don't have nothing else. To offer. Yeah, And exactly. plus, you want to kind of keep, like you said, kind of keep that. You don't want everybody just to be able to. Hey, put me on. Okay. You know, like, hey, we got to focus on what we kind of I mean, have nobody now. nobody put us on. So, right, you know right. What I'm we went and got it on our own. That's you know what's what up. Like, um, a lot of people fuck with us, but that's just the fact that we went and got it on our own. So they see the hustle. They see. They respect it. Yeah, they yeah. respect it. So it's like we earned it. It wasn't like somebody gave it to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What would you, what advice would you give? For somebody that's watching you and just like really kind of feeling inspired by just your the little bit of your journey that you share with us today. I mean, honestly, don't look for handouts. I mean, just go Dang. out and get it on your own, really. 
I mean, it's simple nowadays, especially if you're an artist. There's so many places where you could get a, a quick little studio, you know, ordered for like $300 and just start out recording your own music. Yeah. Um, there's producers out there that you could record it, send it off to them. They'll mix and master it for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to mix and master, I mean, just, just get it done by, by any means. You know what I mean? Stop stop looking for that person to saying. Hey, can you help me? Can you help me? You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You're never gonna get nothing done. You know what I mean? I agree a hundred percent. Well, I know I don't have any more questions, but you know, I want to know if Chris has any questions before I wrap it up. I want to cut you off, and then you'll be talking stuff for all week about how I don't let you ask no questions, and I'm the Suge Knight of podcast. <laughs> she is the Suge Knight of podcast. <laughs> she, she lets it be known, puts her heel down or her foot down. You gotta be confident, man, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, Don't you yeah, gotta walk it and walk it like you talk key. it? Confidence, but we all know where Suge Knight is right now, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying. But you, we're gonna we're wow. gonna move on from that one. Feelings I, are I hurt. feel like I feel like she's about to come at me. I am. <laughs> I'll let I'll let I the camera stop rolling Steve's first though. Just rolled up. The bodyguard. This man is the nicest man I've ever met in my life. Who? You. Big old teddy bear with the name the bodyguard. He ain't, I'm gonna I'm hurt somebody before he does. See now, there's there's a different persona from what you know as me when I'm out doing business and the me when I'm at home and the me <laughs> when I gotta handle business. So you're an onion. First off, I don't stink. Why does he always have to take it? <laughs> you have layers. You have layers, man. That's what I'm saying. I knew that. I'm just saying I don't stink though. All right, Orlando, before we get out of here, do you have any shout-outs, any last words, anything you want to plug and make sure the people know? Man, we, we'll be going on tour probably uh, May 1st, right around that time. Um, we got, we're got we going to be hitting, like, Texas, uh, Arizona, Ooh, Chicago, nice. Detroit. Wow. Um, man, a lot of cities. So it's going to be it's gonna be huge. It's going to be huge. Uh Big blessing to be able to do that. Yeah, for sure. And how can the city get involved? If they see you and they're like, man, I just want this brother to win. I want to support him. Like, what's the best way somebody can support Southwest Entertainment and get involved? Man, just hit me up directly. I mean, I try to respond as quick as possible. I If I don't, I forget. Uh, it's probably because I forgot. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people. I get <laughs> people that hit me real. up like, well, I hit you up. You never, I was like, man, I forget. Like, I tell people all the time, like, just hit me up. I don't get mad. You know, I really do not get mad if you hit me back up. If you're just like, hey, what's up? Like, what's up? Like, for me, I see, like, you're motivated. You, yeah. you want to get this done. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, if you just hit me up this one time and just like, oh, forget it. He's arrogant or he's this type of person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Why do don't I need? Understand it's a busy yeah. lifestyle. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. Why do I need that person then? You know what I'm saying? Like I need that person that's gonna be right there. Like, what's up? What's up? Let's get this done. Let's get this a done. Go getter. Yes, exactly. So remind me, hit me up again. You know what I mean? Um, Orlando Lava Facebook or Mr. Southwest Facebook, uh, IG Mr. Southwest. Um, just you know, message me. That's hey, really that's what's it. up. That's what's up. Y'all better message him. Before he gets up to the top, top. Hey, also, shout out DJ3, man. Shout um, out 3. Hey, DJ3, a lot of people don't know, but DJ3 is the main reason why we are in Wichita. You know what I mean? Wow. A yeah. lot of people say that, though. 3 is moving in the oh, city. Oh, yeah. 3 is like, I just don't feel like he gets the credit that people need to give him. I man. agree. It's, it's crazy. Like, this guy, man, real humble guy. Yep. Yep. Sees no color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To him, we all human beings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's huge, man. He's he's big blessing, man. He's yeah. a big blessing. That's right. dope. You shout out three. We all in good company then. Yeah. I mean, we were working with him before we even came to um, Wichita. Yeah. So that yeah. was huge. That was so That's three indeed. three got some people coming through for us. We've been able to um, interview Bone and um, Joe hey, Torrey's coming and K Stylist. I mean, they all came off the strength that three said, hey, even three hit me up. He was like, I get Southwest for you. And I was like, no. And he was like, yes, I can. And I was just like, man, that's just dope that he just is, is making those connections for people. Like he was connected with people that, like Yellow Beezy. Like yeah. you knew of Yellow Beezy before. Yeah. yeah. We had... Um, 
uh, Stun at that time he had booked a uh, B Hamp in Garden City, and they he he brought a uh, Yellow Beezy with him at that time. Wow, this was before you know Yellow Beezy was who he is now. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's crazy. Like this dude's been working for. For, for, a minute, minute, man. for the yeah. people who didn't know, Yellow Beezy has been to Wichita many times because yeah. he used to come and open up for major artists when we were when we were doing a lot of stuff at Rodeo. So that's crazy. For the people who say, "Oh, Yellow Beezy ain't never coming to Wichita. He ain't never been to Wichita. He don't want to show Wichita love." He has been here to Wichita. Yeah. You probably just don't remember because you wasn't paying good enough attention. Mm, right. Sleeping. As a matter of fact, I met this guy because of uh, DJ Three. Oh, you this guy. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here we I'm go with this I thing. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we, DJ3, we, we shout out DJ3, though. Three, three linked us together. We networked. We've been networking ever since. Man. Mm-hmm. Three's the type of person that, say, you at a show or where, wherever you are, and he has the right people around him. He's like, he tells you, like, hey, this is so-and-so. You know, link, link up. Yeah. yeah. Link yeah. up. Yeah. You know Big what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, He's really like, man, work with this guy. You know, talk to this guy. Link up. Uh, exchange uh, social medias. Whatever y'all need to do, link up. Link up. You know what yep. I'm saying? He connects the dots. You know yeah, what I'm he does. He really does. He's been like that with me since I met him day one, but you would not believe how many people say he's an asshole. I, I know, don't get I know. that from him. <laughs> I know. I know Why a lot of people say that. Why do people think he's an asshole? I know a lot of because a lot of people want handouts. Yeah. A lot of people want him to say, come on. Let me, yeah. let me put you on this platform that I built for free, even yeah. though you ain't done nothing for me. Let me go ahead and do it. Three ain't yeah. gonna, three ain't gonna hold your three hand ain't gonna through the do process. That. Yeah, three ain't gonna do that. He gonna put you in that. You know, he gonna put you in that scenario to see you succeed. But at the end of the day, you have to make yourself succeed. It's about right. it's about being around winners. Yeah, you know what I mean. Show them that you're a winner. Build exactly. a platform, and he'll, and he'll put you on. And he'll exactly. mess with you. Yeah, yeah. It's about you know you building a platform. He has a platform and linking up and making a bigger platform. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, why is he going to mess with somebody that has nothing to offer him? Ooh, you know speaking that. Yes, yes. So it's, it's just one of those things. Like like I said, I didn't, I didn't get what I got from anybody from just uh, asking for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And just saying, come on, do this for me. Do this for me. Like, I really worked my ass off and then... You know, the call started coming in. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Well, I want to be one of the ones to congratulate you now. I mean, I'm definitely inspired just hearing, like I said, a little bit of your story going from one pair of shoes, you know, and growing up in poverty to working hard and developing a brand and a business mm-hmm. that people recognize, not only in Wichita, but several different cities and states over the world. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a big blessing. And... Uh, for those that do know, I took a big hard hit in uh, 2016. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A major fall that a lot of people tell me, like, how do you still do it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, I give it up to you because you're still out there grinding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I had lost my wife at the time. Oh, my God. Uh, in a car accident. And it's just like, for me, most people are like, man, I would have just stopped. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And for me, the way I took it was like, okay, now I just got to go twice as hard for yeah, my kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, if I went hard before, I got to go twice as hard now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it was rough. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I kept going, but I'm not going to say, like, I was good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I knew what I had, to, what needed to be done, so I kept going. But it actually took me, you know, I want to say over a year, two years to just, kinda you know, get- kind of just... Yeah, through it. Yeah, get through it, get through it. You know what and I'm saying? In those situations, you know, I like to tell people that, you know, there's always a storm, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of that storm, them clouds is going to clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That sun is going to pop out. Yeah. And that's how you know everything is going to be all right. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's I, I understand your situation, you know what I'm saying? I didn't lose my wife or anything like that. I've lost some people that was close to me, so, I mean, I know how you feel. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's rough, you know. It's crazy. I read a thing just the other day that said, I think I've seen it before. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. It said, life is like a roller coaster. You either choose to scream or you enjoy the ride. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I do both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> the whole time I'm enjoying it, but I'm scared. Yeah. But um, I want to say your kids are lucky then, you know, because... Yeah. 
um, that's just not something that you see every day. You know, people go through life and things are hard and some people just do not know how to get back up when they're knocked down like that. And the fact that you're able to do it and not only for yourself or your kids, I mean, super big up to you. Yeah, it was it was rough just because I thought I had life all figured out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At that moment, I was like, man, nothing can touch me, man. Yeah. Nothing can touch me. Yeah. Like, I got everything figured out and, you know, you know, slap in the face. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. guess what? You don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that was crazy. Well, I don't know if you're spiritual, but I'm sure, you know, you got your wife looking over you and your kids, and she's pushing for you in a whole nother place now, you know? So, um, I mean, thank you for coming and ch- chilling with us and being with us. I feel honored that you even had had the time to come and mix it up with me and Chris. Man, I appreciate y'all having me, for real. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay, and so. Thank you for coming on. I don't know. I was to cut you off. I'm sorry. You always cut me off. I said I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> See, Suge See how Knight, you try to do me? Suge Knight mindset, Now, I ain't going to say sorry, no See, more. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We got busy people in the building, places to go, people to see, things to do. So until next time, it's your girl, Jane Shell. And it's your boy, Chris Key. And as always, it's legit. And we do this the legit way. <laughs> <laughs> we out. <laughs>